All right, guys, back with another video on his legacy. Uh, hold up, before you pull that out. So look, to replace the axles and axle seals, it's super easy. Take off the axle nut and then unbolt the lower ball joint. Pull that out. Um, once you get that out, you can pop the outer CV shaft out of the, um, the spindle there and then pull the axle out. This one is blown up. Oh my God. Uh, but once you pull the axle out of the, um, once you pull the axle out of the outer spindle, you just take a pry bar and get it in there. Uh, it's gotta get it in the right angle. Need this. You shouldn't need this, but for some reason this axle has got a tapered edge. So I'm just gonna pop this in there lightly. Pops it. Axle will then pull straight out. And in our case, we'll fit through that little tiny crevice there. I could not find a single video on axle seals on the Subaru. Super easy. I've seen people take out the uh, bearing preload adjusters and all that. You don't need to do any of that. Get yourself a pry bar, put some tape over the end so you don't scratch anything. Stick it up in there. Get your pry bar. Find where the seal is. Gently. Oh, that one's in there good. This is definitely original. The other one came out so much easier. There it is. All right. That simple. Just pop it out. And then we're going to put the new one in. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. This part is tricky. You need to find some sort of socket or something that fits over that lip on the seal but can still press on the metal part itself. This one fits perfect. This is a ball joint press adapter. I don't think you can buy this by itself, but you'll need to find a socket of some kind. And the installation procedure is you want to put or I like to put some RTV on the outside edge and then before you put the axle back in you need to coat the inner with um, gear oil or wheel bearing grease because if the axle starts spinning and this is dry on the inside where it contacts the axle it'll actually wear it out basically immediately. Uh, they're prone to a dry start. So let's go ahead and install it. Shit, it fucking popped out, damn. Hang on. 